I just woken up from my dream. And I want you to have the dream. I want you to have the dream. I want to tell you about this vintage Bob James Earl Klug in a couple of minutes. And it's just, oh, oh sorry, did I have it upside down? I don't know. Let me see here. What is it? Yeah, 1979. Analog. Probably one of the best vinyls that I own. I, I, I can't tell you. You need to get this. I can't tell you how it sounds. There's just no words. And it's because of the vinyl. And it's because of these. Uh, I, I'm The purpose of this video, by the way, hi everybody, Mario Cavallo here, The Dragon War is on. I'm coming out of my dream. I spent an hour listening to music. That music, these speakers. The purpose of this video is to make you an awesome deal so that you can have your dreams too. And I'm not talking the dreams of speakers that sound great that are four, five, six hundred dollars speakers in that category. Folks, there's speakers that are over a thousand dollars a pair and in that and a thousand to two thousand a pair of bookshelves. And I am telling you that they are 95 percent of audio file nirvana where you could spend five thousand or ten thousand and you'd hear more, but you'd hear very, very little more. And these speakers are the Dragon Quartz Audiophile Award winner, Best Stand Mounts. They list for $1,200, and I'm about to make you a deal that is going to blow your mind because besides me on planet Earth, they're not even available to you. You can't even get them, even if you did want them, but you can get them. That's what we're talking about here. I'm going to make you smoke an offer. So, first of all, there's nothing to describe this speaker. Here, I'll take the cover off. They, they look, you know, look. Okay, if you don't think they're gorgeous in terms of being a art design, okay. And you have to understand that they're in cherry wood. Uh, I think they're pretty ugly in black, and I'm sorry if I've just insulted you if you like black. Well, it's not just about the design. It's not just about the beauty of the design, but it's also about the technical aspects of the design, because if you look at this thing, even the even the amazing five and a quarter inch woofer is recessed like it's horn loaded. And then the tweeter, which is horn loaded into JBL's amazing horn, okay, is way back there. It's way recessed back there. So in terms of I've I've understood I've come to understand coherence and time alignment. Okay. And wow, if these are an example of what it's all about, because I'm hearing stuff in the mid range. And I'm talking mid-bass, low-mids, mid-mids, high-mids, low-highs, and that whole range. I, with, I'm hearing with... Your audiophile dream is the soundstage. Am I right? And then with clarity. The soundstage with clarity. And, and, and a musical feeling from the whole soundstage. The speakers themselves are just, everyone talks about this. This is right. Number one, that the speakers disappear entirely. And that number two, the space that's left, okay, is open yet well-defined exactly where instruments are placed forward and back in the soundstage. It shocks my wife. It shocks me. These little speakers have scale. That's the point. I have a major problem with, and, and, and it's been stated about the KEF LS50s. They are small. They sound small. They're $1,500 freaking dollars. They're barely available for a discount. And they're like studio monitors. And even Steve Gutenberg just mentioned it. They're great. They're accurate, clean, too clean, clinically clean. Fine. And they're best as near field, four to five feet away. Not these. I'm shocked. 
I live in a my my room, my listening room, um, fairly well damped, you know, soft couch, carpet on the floor, etc. And and I'll add more dampening, but so it's not too live a room, which is great. You don't want your room totally dead either. My room is four meters wide. Meters, sorry, I live in China, folks. So four meters is call four meters uh, something along the lines of what five yards, okay, and. Uh, 10 yards long okay so my room is 15 by call it 15 by 30 16 by 32 okay no it's bigger than that right so it's it's like 16 by 34 17 by 34 nice size living room and that whole wall space is for my system I can move these the other thing about stand mounts is they're on stands you can move them around and that's great okay so, I'm amazed at, I, I just am unexpectedly surprised at how big they sound. They have scale. I read that they have scale, and they do have scale. I, I, how do I say? The idea that the bottom 20, uh, 20 hertz of bass isn't there, because these go down respectively to 40 45. That doesn't change the quality of the music. I do not miss subwoofer. Now, I'm not a hip hop or bass head kind of guy. Now, when I listen to Led Zeppelin, and my favorite really, Molly Hatchet, right, for Dreams I'll Never See. And it, it the rock sounds amazing. The, the, folks, this is the point. These are JBLs. They're JBLs. Everything sounds good through these. Now, I'm going to put this down. Wow. Unbelievable. This. 1979. Uh, side two. Columbia Records. This is not an, a MoFi original master recording. It, it, this, this this disc liner and notes doesn't make any claims about how it was done in the studio without with with no limiting or compression. It doesn't doesn't say anything about. It's not bragging. Okay, it's just saying that hey, here's the album. Side two. I'll never, uh, Mallorca, I'll never see you again, and Winding River. Find yourself a flak file, digital, of Winding River, Bob James and Earl Klug, if you don't have it on this original vintage vinyl, 1979 Columbia Records. With Ron Carter, Harvey Mason, Ralph McDonald, Gary King, and Neil Jason. Mm. Just, in, just incredible. Now to the deal. Number one, number two, and number three. These speakers are incredible. Number two, I'm literally the only person on planet Earth who has them available to you in Cherrywood. I've got a pair on the way to the United States to a customer right now. In Cherrywood. You see them. I don't need to explain. You either love them as much as I do or you don't. And if you don't, God bless. It's okay. It's great. Enjoy your audio file like I do. Um, there's some other really nice stuff out there. In fact, Steve Gutenberg just reviewed the new uh, LRSs by MagnaPan, the little ribbon speakers. Like, i got to get myself a pair of those. Who, I mean, everyone in the world should get yourself a pair of those for $650. How can you not, right? But you need 200 watts of channel into 4 ohms. Okay, which is great. Okay, go get the Crown XLS 1502, which is 300, I think 300 or 350 watts a channel into four, uh, oh no, 500 watts a channel into four ohms. Go get yourself one of those for, for $350 and a decent preamp and your magna pants. I think that's an incredible, uh, an incredible way to go, even though it's digital. In fact, a, a digital amp. Uh, still, those crown the crown works. We just installed it in my brother's clip system, and it 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 sings. It's full resolution. It's amazing. So God bless 
uh, D class D amplifiers now. They've really they 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 do the job. It's amazing. Okay. So besides wanting to get yourself some vintage traditional, uh, you know, Macintosh or or whatever super powerful amplifiers you might want to get yourself some old Adcom something. Here's the deal. JBL 530s. I will be making a video of my visit to JBL Harman, their flagship store in China, in Shanghai, at Sunan Mansions. These sell for 9,800 RMB per pair. The JBL Harman store only has them in black because they don't, they're in Shanghai. My dealer who has a stock of these in Cherrywood is not or in Shanghai. He's in another part of the country. Ha ha. Okay. 9,800 RMB is about 1,400 US dollars. Actually, almost 1,500 US dollars a pair. They will sell them to you at a discount of 8,000, which is like $1,230 a pair. And that is, in fact, in the United States, the retail list for these speakers. They retail for $1,200. Okay. I will send you a pair of these in Cherrywood, direct to your door from here. Number one, save $250, $950. Number two, that includes the international shipping to your door. And it's by ship, not by air, okay? And uh, it's gonna take about 60 days, 60 to call it, I'm gonna just be safe, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna take 75 days, who cares? No problem, lots of people have ordered gear, takes a couple months to arrive by ship. No problem. It, it's, the world's logistic systems are confidence-inspiring. No worries. That's number two. And number three, just so you know we're not screwing around and we want to take care of you, we are double-boxing the box. I've heard people complain, oh, the JBLs are not, uh, they weren't uh, uh, packed very well in the original box. Well, I thought they were packed fine when mine arrived. But, okay, they're going international, they're going all the way to you, and you care, and you love them, and it's your money, and you're my client. We are boxing the box, so they will be shipped double boxed. Also included, $950, flat, straight, that's it. I'm done. I, I love the audiophile journey. These are an amazing choice. You feel that way? Yeah, they're so rare. I don't know how many pairs there are left, okay? I've got a few, and there's a few more after that, but I don't know exactly how many there are, but there ain't that many, okay? Because as you already know, they're discontinued three years ago in America, but I got my stock here in China, and this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of it on something rare, rare, rare. Check my other video on reviews of these amazing little monsters besides believing me. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just trying to make you happy, okay? Thanks very much. Mario Cavallo here with the Dragon Roars on and the Dragon Quartz Audiophile Award winners, JBL 530s, along with the Amari LP10 MK turntable, the best deal on the planet for uh, $750 for a turntable, all the way up to $1,500 price range. Nothing else can touch it. And for only another $90, we'll ship that to you too. Okay. And then thirdly, the Junction JA88D09 uh, class, pure class A amplifier. That we're never going to ship to you in America. It's available here in China. It's an amazing piece. Grant Fidelity was selling them years ago. I think they're up in Canada. Uh, no, we're not going to be, you're not going to be asking us to ship that one to you because that baby, which is a top, top rated, amazing couple thousand dollars, pure class A. Uh, and the thing is, is it weighs like 67 pounds. So not going to be practical to ship that to anybody. That's all right. Thanks very much, folks. You know what to do. Let me know. You want a pair of JBLs? They're on your way to you. Bye-bye. Wait a moment, folks. I've got one more fantastic hot announcement next week, Sunday, April 14th. We are in Beijing. If you are in China, if you are in Beijing, join us for the Dragon Quartz Audiophile Award Winners event. Yeah, that's right. We are going to just keep celebrating the music and celebrating the awesome audiophile equipment, the JBL 5 Series speakers, the Junction Pure Class A amplifier, and of course, the unbelievable Amari 
LP10MK turntable.